家好，我是安妮老师 ，and welcome to my channel， 安妮老师。The lesson for this video is all about pin in. What are pin in? Well, these are the alphabets that we see written above or below a Chinese character. Along with these alphabets are the tone marks. These are symbols that are seen above an alphabet which represents different tones. For any learners that are learning the Mandarin language, these pin in makes learning a bit easy because we can rely on this pin in in order to know how to read the Chinese character. But you also need to know the correct pin in alphabet and tones in order for you to read the Chinese words accurately. Apart from serving as guide in reading the Chinese character. Pin in also plays a vital role in typing or inputting Chinese character. For example, you want to type the Chinese character "shui jiao," which means to sleep. The correct pin in is this. But if you write a different pin in, it can lead to other Chinese characters. So now that we know how important pin in is, let me guide you step by step on how pin in works. Let me start in introducing the different tones or sheng diao. Pin in has four main tones and one neutral tone. Di yi sheng. The first tone looks just like this. It is a straight horizontal line above a letter. The first tone is high pitched and even for the entire syllable. Let's try to practice how to read the first tone syllables. Di yi sheng. Ma. Ma, ge, ge, mi, mi, u, u. Great job. Di er sheng. The second tone looks like this. It is a rising diagonal line above a letter. The second tone is rising pitch, just like when you are in doubt. Let's try it out. Di er sheng, ma, ma, ge, ge, mi, mi, u, u. Nice try. Di san sheng. The third tone looks like this. It looks like a small alphabet letter V. The tone drops and rises. You need to pronounce this tone clearly and distinctively by reading or pronouncing it in a slower manner. Let's try it out. Di san sheng, ma, ma, ge, ge, mi, mi, u, u. Good try. Di si sheng. The fourth tone looks just like this. It is a dropping diagonal line. The tone starts from high and drops sharply, which sounds like an angry tone. Let's try it out. Di si sheng. Ma. Ma. Ge. Ge. Mi. Mi. U. U. Great job. The last one is the neutral tone or Qing Sheng. The neutral tone doesn't have any tone mark. This tone doesn't have defined pitch, so you can read the syllable quickly without regard to pitch. Let's try it out. Qing Sheng. Mama. Mama. Papa, Papa, Gugu, Gugu, Mimi, Mimi. Nice try. Let's review all the tones. Are you ready? Here we go. Di yi sheng, Ma, Ge, Mi, Wu. Di er sheng, 
ma ge mi wu di san sheng ma ge mi wu di si sheng ma ge mi wu qing sheng ma ma ba ba ge ge mei mei and those are all the different tones of pinyin.